Hi there, uh, welcome to my Quicksilver 540. Uh, I'm just putting it up for sale now. But I thought I'd just give you a walk around just to see what it's like and uh, describe some of its features. So uh, come with me. So it's a 5.4 meter Quicksilver powered by a 115 Mercury outboard. It's a 2003 model. So it's got the uh, EFI outboard uh, fuel injected four stroke. Uh, it's fitted with a four blade propeller. It's a slightly lower pitch propeller than what is normally fitted to these boats. Gives it a good take out of the water um, as it carries some extra bits on board as I'll show you. So around the back of the boat here, uh, you can see the fuel tank uh, filled from the rear. Um, it's got a shore power connection which is underneath that cap there and uh, just for whilst we're at the back here we can see the uh, water tap and uh, also the transom shower which is plumbed into the tank under the under the uh, floor uh, looking from the rear here you can see the two pedestal seats uh, which were new uh, two years ago both the pedestal and the tupper seat they swivel uh, forward and back and they also uh, rise uh, about a foot higher than what you see them today at the back of the boat, a little bit unique is two of the seats that were the front of the boat, uh, the front seats, um, they're fitting, fitted in the rear, uh, they swivel, again, rotate uh, to give you uh, good seating at the back, uh, and also sitting sideways, you can actually stretch out on the back as a sun lounger at the rear of the boat. But probably first, I'll just pop the cover off and we'll have a look at the motor. So here we are at the moat with the top end, the business end, it's, uh, 115 uh, four stroke uh, 2003 uh, I've done the service work on it myself it was serviced uh, in winter just gone um, it uh, is very tidy for its age it hasn't done many hours with me um, and uh, my previous owner uh, bought it with approximately 200 hours so uh, as you can see by looking at the condition of the engine uh, it's in good working order and it's very very tidy no leaks no uh, problems uh, that's given me uh, in the service at the bottom end I've also serviced the impeller um, the gearbox oils um, really they're a bulletproof engine and there's not really too much to go wrong with them so here we are in from the back of the boat you see the swivel seats at the rear and uh, as I come around here you've got the two pedestal seats You've got a small lazarette under the lazarette there's some good storage which i'll show you uh, currently there's uh, the table and the fenders it's quite deep uh, and up underneath here uh, you may not see you may see there's a water tank so the boat has 90 liters of fresh water uh, and behind here there's the fuel tank um, which holds 90 liters of fuel obviously Uh, underneath the seat at the back here we've got the batteries so in here there's a master battery and a leisure battery for the lighting extra power supply and there's two two switches there so you can disable both engine and house uh, independently it's got a split charging system which allows the engine to charge both batteries when it's underway and uh, that uh, with the LED lights on the boat, that battery lasts for a good while. Uh, you can see the speakers at the rear here. Uh, I'll show you the fusion in a moment, but it's got two zones, one in the rear and uh, one in the cabin. So to the helm here, the helm station, uh, it's got a Garmin uh, unit, uh, chart plotter, uh, fish finder. Uh, that's fitted integrated into the dashboard uh, for security it has a face plate and everything and here you can just see the normal dials um, the boat would have the boat does approximately 30 will do 30 knots uh, wide open um, it cruises well between 18 uh, to tw 18 to 20 um, out uh, on the on the water looking forward you've got the fusion antenna for the radio fusion radio 
and obviously looking forward you can see there's a little small window hatch there for wind light into the cuddy you've got the anchor locker at the front and some really nice grab rails around the side uh, which mean getting up and around the boat is quite safe um, it's got good handrails here at the side it's got a grip here and uh, some convenient step to get in to the front of the boat and also to get out of the boat to, at the on the mooring uh, some accessory power supplies here 12 volt supplies for powering up accessories and phones etc uh, and uh, hydraulic steering so there's a conversion for the steering base star system if we look at the rear here uh, we can just see the uh, hydraulic system steering unit in the back it's got an outboard transom bracket uh, for any uh, kicker motor you might wish to carry let's just go and have a little look in the cabin so here we are down on the cabin um, it's quite a spacious cabin um, it's currently got uh, as you can see that the the horseshoe style with the space for sitting and uh, it's got good storage around the side quite deep storage um, probably three three hundred a good foot foot and a half for storage uh, and here we've got the uh, storage nets we've got the lighting switch unit it's got a fusion radio uh, and obviously you can see there's cabin speakers um, so uh, lighting uh, it's got an LED light in the cabin, it's got LED lights that light up the deck here and uh, it's got a cover on the top with lighting as well. Uh, so what I'll do now is I'll just fill in the inner cushions here uh, so you can see what the cabin looks like from uh, when the sleeping area is made. So you can now see the boat in the sleeping position with all the cushions and filled. Still nice and light. Thanks to the hatch light above, which does open. So here you can see the boat with the cover on the top. I've just got the back rolled up so you can see in the back. Uh, plenty of room, all waterproof. And uh, it makes for a really great living space. So there's my boat. I hope you enjoyed its little walk around and uh, it's uh, looking forward to a new owner sometime soon.